Hey everyone, welcome back to another video here on Keep Running with BK and in today's video we are going to talk about how we're doing and slowing down on those easy days. I know you get tired of hearing more and more about easy running, but it's a critically important aspect of our training and every once in a while it's a good idea to check in on how we're doing and in this video I'm going to share with you how I'm doing. We'll be right back right after this. Hey everyone, thanks again for checking out uh, the channel here on Keep Running with BK and if you've been following the channel at all, you know that I have spent a lot of time talking about my training and learning to slow down following the principles I learned in the Maffetone or MAF training method and I'm currently in the midst of an 80-20 training block and it too is a training approach where 80% of your running is done at a slow, easy effort and 20% at a harder effort. And one of the key ideas here, at least for my training, is during those 80% runs, it's critically important to keep them easy. And you have to ask yourself, why is that so important? Well, I'm gonna share with you today some excerpts from Matt Fitzgerald's book, 80-20 Running. And uh, these are gonna come from the chapter uh, on learning to slow down and I want you to listen very carefully because I'm going to share some of my own thoughts from my own running as I've really been thinking about and contemplating how I'm doing in the area of keeping it slow keeping it easy on those easy days so that I get the full recovery and so I'm ready to hit those hard days uh, hard and get the quality training that I'm looking to get out of them so Matt starts his book off and uh, with uh, chapter one entitled learning to slow down and he says here that nearly all runners who come to, to me for help are doing their easy runs faster than they should or it is very common for runners to resist the edict of running slow how are you doing in that area how are you doing in restraining that urge to push yourself and go out there and, and, and running too hard too often do you have the patience to really embrace this training principle of running easy? Are you making the effort to learn what easy running truly is? Are you using a heart rate monitor to help you to understand what easy is and to help you control and throttle back your efforts to make sure that you are indeed running and training at an easy pace? This took me a concentrated effort it took me a lot of time in fact I spent three to six months um, last year mostly when I was following the Maffetone training method to strap on that heart rate get some uh, metrics and understand what my normal running is like and as I've shared on this channel and as Matt attests to in his book most people are running too hard too often and you've got to really get an understanding one where you're currently at and then in your efforts to pull back and to really truly learn what slow feels like and uh, looks like in your running, uh, you're going to have to invest some time to do that. And he states here in his book, it's really, uh, this entails measuring your intensity during each run to ensure you're executing the plan correctly. That's why we wear a heart rate monitor. That's why we capture these metrics. That's why I put it into my spreadsheet. And I'm looking at the big picture each week and make, uh, making sure that I'm putting in the appropriate effort for each of my runs, whether it's easy days or even on my hard days. Um, if my easy days aren't truly quality easy days, then the quality of my hard days is going to be suboptimal. They're not going to be at the levels that you want. For my own training, as I've shared in, in some of these recent videos, I use uh, the tables in Jack Daniels running formula book uh, based on my VDOT score to target certain paces uh, based on my current fitness level and that aerobic profile that's going to push me 
you know whereas the easy running we're using a heart rate monitor to control ourselves to make sure that we're pulling back and keeping easy easy i'm using pace target goals to really push myself to make sure i'm hitting the quality efforts that i really need to to uh, achieve my training goals and that isn't possible if i don't get this easy running part right even on the when i'm doing a an 80 20 approach if your easy days become medium days, you're going to compromise uh, your goals. You're going to compromise what you're striving to, to achieve. And as he points out in this book, he says, we have habitual running patterns, mainly around pace, that if we don't take a look at and we don't figure out what we need to do to change and to adapt our running, then we're going to be stuck in that middle zone and we're going to hinder our progress. And there's a section in this chapter that he entitles Intensity Blindness that I think really speaks to the problem here. And he says, most runners think they're running easy. And I want you to hear that again. They think they're running easy. In fact, you may be watching this right now and said, yeah, this is not a problem for me. My easy days really are easy. Well, I thought that for, for years, uh, decades even. Yeah, my easy days are easy enough until I really stopped strapped on the heart rate monitor and used the data to get an objective look and i realized that yeah my easy days really weren't easy and that explains why sometimes i was tired why i wasn't able to hit the target paces in some of my hard uh, training sessions and why i was always tired or i was experiencing uh, injury time and time again it's because my body wasn't getting the proper rest and recovery and I'm talking active rest here yes there's a time for not doing any running and just resting and giving your body recovery getting good sleep those are all good things but even our easy days they're critical ingredients to our training those easy days are also active rest days they're active training days um, they promote recovery they promote fleshing out lactic acid after those hard days um, but they also encourage those continual physical adaptations necessary to develop our aerobic system they help us to maintain our endurance strength which I measure by my average training volume um, over a three-week period and just kind of measure that trending um, but it keeps the the training volume up which is important and especially if you're really training for a speed goal or a time goal and you, you want to incorporate uh, speed work into your weekly training, the, um, the volume of that speed work, if you're keeping within that 20%, is going to be very limited unless you maintain a higher training volume um, to support it. And so it's really important, again, that we pause from time to time like I'm doing currently during this 80 20 training block and asking myself okay how am i really doing and that 80 percent of my running am i keeping it easy or are old habits creeping back into my training and that pace that effort is um slowly but surely creeping back into what's intended to be truly easy day and the inspiration really for this week's theme and and, and focus is as i've been running this week um, most of this summer I've been running early in the mornings and as fall is rolling out and I'm continuing to run early in the mornings it is really dark and it's harder to kind of look at my heart rate monitor and kind of gauge where the effort is and so I've just kind of gotten lazy and kind of gone on autopilot in a sense not in a you know not intentionally I guess but just purely out of the circumstances and I've had to rely on my on the feel and it's really important to gain a feel for what easy truly is we don't want to be handcuffed to a heart rate monitor all the time it's a great tool um, but ultimately I think that tool should train our thinking and train our feel um, so should something happen or should we're in a situation where we need to fall back and we don't have the heart rate monitor so to speak to to help gauge how we're doing hopefully we're learning what easy truly feels like and so we can go out there and really enjoy our runs take in the scenery um, and not have to feel married to a heart rate monitor or a you know something strapped to our wrist and to our chest to keep us honest 
Um, I'm sure all of us have those days where we just like to take it off and just go and run and just enjoy it, but yet keep it easy on those easy recovery days. And, and uh, as I've shifted more towards afternoon runs because it's getting harder and harder to, especially on those hard days, um, to run when it's pitch dark out and where the footing is, can be an issue. I've kind of started to see more and more of my, my runs during the day. I'm looking down at the heart rate monitor and I'm like, ooh, I've allowed it to creep back up there and my easy days really haven't been easy. And the goal here is to set us free from our habitual pace and teaching us to embrace running slow. That's a quote here um, from Matt's book. And he says here, I don't care how much you have to slow down to reach this point, but keep throttling back until you get there. And that's kind of what I've been trying to concentrate on my easy runs this week. Um, after noticing creep back to bad habits, I'm continually throttling back more and more and more to get back down to, to an easy effort, to get my heart rate to drop down below my Maffetone target heart rate. Um, I've gotten comfortable with allowing it to creep up to five, you know, even 10 beats per minute at times, higher than what it should be. And as I continue to throttle back, I'm gradually pulling that back down to where it should be. And I'm hoping that in the days ahead, I will feel more refreshed when I'm out running. Confession time, I have been lacking motivation. I've, I've woken up and I feel just tired and unmotivated and, and at times sore and tight. And um, not only have I targeted runs for the afternoon, but on days where I've targeted in the morning, I've woken up more often than I'd like to admit and say, you know what, I just don't feel like doing it. Maybe I'll feel more like it in the afternoon. And I think in part, I can attribute that to my easy days no longer being easy enough and thus the motivation for me sharing this thought with you and really asking you to, to take a pause and ask yourself, do some self-evaluation. How are you doing in slowing down and keeping those easy days truly easy? So I shared with you here my experience with this and what I've been wrestling with and some of the things that I've done. Um, I'd really ask for you to share in the comments of this, you know, down below for this video, um, how are you doing? Um, what are some things that you have done to maybe throttle back and, and, and keep your easy running easy? Is it through the use of a heart rate monitor? Is it some other technique or some other approach? I'd love to hear what you guys are doing to keep yourself honest. And if you have any tips or thoughts or even questions, feel free to share those down below as well. And as always, I really appreciate you checking out the channel. Just a shout out of thanks to all the recent subscribers. The subscribers to this channel continues to grow. And uh, you guys are a big part of the motivation that keeps me going. And if you'd like to follow me on Twitter or Strava, I'll provide links to that down below. You know, I'll, I'll leave you with uh, one more thought from this chapter on slowing down. And that is the intensity of your running should never again be the source of strain on your easy days. And uh, I, this was the quote in the sense that mm, I thought of, and I wanted to go back and reread this section in the book uh, this week as I was running and, and really focusing in on this. Um, and that is I'm watching for, I'm listening for, and I, I'm, I'm trying to find the feel for, am I straining on these easy days? It's real easy to do. I've been enjoying the hard efforts you know, I'm, I'm getting my, my speed coming, you know, it, it's coming to fruition. Uh, I'm getting a response to these quality sessions and, and getting caught up in that excitement. It's real easy to allow this intensity and this strain to kind of ratchet up those easy runs and those easy days as well, wanting to kind of see that improvement um, even on those easy days. Easy days are easy days. Let them be easy days. Trust the training, trust your process. And as always, stay safe, train smart, and keep running.